One of the most talked about aspects of the German production of Hamilton is, of course, the translation, with many German Hamilton fans voicing concerns that the show won't be as good in German as it is in English. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about what you can expect from the German translation, how it was created and who created it, what this translation means for future foreign language productions of Hamilton, and I'll address some of the online criticisms that I've been seeing. Let's go. Hey everybody, your boy Charles here, and before we get started, I wanna apologize for taking so long to post a new video. I did have a very good reason for taking so long. The rehearsals for Hamilton started last week. Yes. We're already into our second week and it is literally mind bending. I have to throw everything I thought I knew about this show out the window, it's crazy. But I'll talk more about that in the coming weeks. Today, I wanna to focus on the translation. So if you're ready, let's get started. So before I go into detail about the translation, let me just remind you guys of something very important. If you want the real inside scoop on what's happening with the German version of Hamilton, come see me. Why? Very clear, because I'm actually in the cast. I have more inside information than anybody else that you might see on YouTube or other social media channels. That's why I'm posting these videos, to let you guys, the fans, those who are interested in the show, let you guys know what the real deal is. So, having said that, in my opinion, having worked with this translation for the past seven months, I can honestly say that the translation is a masterpiece, and here's why. Now consider that the original version of Hamilton has around 23,000 words. Now that's double the number of words that one would typically find in a musical theater piece. The German version of Hamilton has over 48 thousand words. So it has more than double the amount of words that the original Hamilton has, but it still maintains the same rhythm, the same structure, and the same flow as the original. In other words, everything that makes Hamilton as awesome as it is, is kept in the German translation. Now, to give you guys a little backstory about how the translation came to be, the producers from Stage Entertainment saw Hamilton back in 2016 and they immediately fell in love with the show. It was then that the decision was made to try to bring Hamilton to Germany. Fast forward a few months, the translation team flew to New York to meet with Lynn Miranda and present him with a few translated versions of some of the songs from Hamilton. One of the translators, a very successful songwriter and rapper named Sarah Finale, performed a translated version of the song, My Shot, for Lynn Miranda, and Lynn freaked out. Then the real work began. It took almost three and a half years to translate the show. And despite what many people online may think, Lynn Miranda and his team were directly involved with translating the show. In fact, they were so involved with the translation that Kurt Crowley, the International Associate Music Director, learned German specifically to work on the German version of Hamilton. Damn! Now, one thing that's very important and needs to be understood, the goal was not to translate the show word for word. That doesn't work. The goal was to find a way to tell the story in the German language that maintains the spirit and the meaning of the original version. So to achieve that goal, two translators were hired and these guys are really the best in the business, Kevin Schroeder and Sarah Finale. Kevin is one of the most successful musical theater authors and translators in Germany. Now the list of this guy's credits is very, very long. I mean, he's done shows like Tina, Kinky Boots, Frozen, Chicago, Aladdin, Sister Act, you name it, he's translated it, and he's very good at what he does. He's also written his own pieces. The other translator is Sarah Finale. Now, Sarah Finale is one of the most successful songwriters in Germany. This guy has 30 gold and 20 platinum records. He's worked on and written diverse singles and albums, 12 songs in the top 10. He's had 40 songs in the top 100, and he's worked with Everybody, the guy is really prolific and he's probably one of the best freestyle rappers that Germany has to offer. So given their credentials, Kevin and Sarah were probably the two best guys you could get to translate a show like Hamilton from English into German. So now that you guys have a little bit of backstory about the translation itself and the guys who created it, let's talk a little bit 
about some of the online chatter that I've been reading, I'll try to address some of the questions and the criticisms that I've been seeing regarding the German translation. Hamilton is one of those shows that if you're going to present it in Germany, you have to translate it for a very simple reason. The show is so fast and there is so much information that most German audiences will not understand what's going on. Stage Entertainment, one of the biggest musical theater production companies in Germany, has never ever presented a show in its original language in Germany. Every show that they've ever put on has been translated into German. Now, I am a native English speaker, and it took me five watches to get what Hamilton was truly all about. And as I said before, I'm in the cast now, and I'm learning things about Hamilton that I didn't know after the first few times watching it. And I've seen Hamilton hundreds of times, either live or on television on Disney+. Plus. So how do you think it's going to be for someone who is not a native English speaker? The vast majority of Germans do speak English, but not as well as they probably think they do. In fact, I read a statistic that only 60% of Germans speak English well enough to have a conversation. Only 10% of Germans speak English fluently. So believe me, a show as complex as Hamilton would never work for a German audience if it was performed in its original language. Germany simply doesn't have the English language background that other European countries have, such as the Netherlands or Sweden. Nothing can be further from the truth. In fact, I would even go so far as to say that there are some parts of the German translation that actually are better in German than in the original English version. Oh, hell no. German is actually very suited for a piece like Hamilton, especially the hip hop aspect. And as somebody who knows both, I can say without question, the German version of Hamilton will hit differently, but not less than the English version. What I'm interpreting when I read these comments are personal preferences as opposed to actual facts. And I think that when you read the comments or if you're trying to make a decision on whether or not to come see Hamilton in German, you really have to try to separate people's opinions from the actual facts. I'm not interested in opinions. I'm interested in facts. And the fact is that the work that was done on this translation is phenomenal. We've taken a lot of time, put a lot of energy into this translation to make absolutely sure that it hits as hard as possible. Even if there are some things that audiences may or may not agree with as far as the translation is concerned, in general, the translation hits just as hard as the English version. Another very important point to keep in mind is that the songs that have been posted online, Alexander Hamilton, The Schuyler Sisters, The Story of Tonight, that's three of 48 songs. And they're not even the best songs in the show. Believe me, when you hear the German versions of Satisfied or Wait For It or One Last Time, you will freak out on how well they translate. So another one of the criticisms that I've been reading online is from those Hamilton fans, German or English, who write, well, they could have done this with the translation, or they could have translated this line in this way, or they could have said this in a different way. Now, some of these criticisms come from Hamilton fans who have maybe seen it on television or have had the privilege of seeing it in London or in New York or in Australia. Now, I, being a cast member, find it very good that these people are so invested in this show. Having said that, just because you've seen a movie a dozen times doesn't automatically make you qualified to direct a movie. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Believe me, the people who are working on this show have been doing this for a very long time and they know what they're doing, so relax. A lot of these criticisms focus on specific things while failing to take into account the big picture. Everything that happens in this show happens for a reason. And that same thing is true about the translation. Certain words were chosen, certain, word, certain phrases were spaced 
such that they make sense in context of the entire show. Hamilton is a show with a lot of moving parts, and every part is connected to another part in the show. And finally, keep in mind that even though the translation is three and a half years in the making, it's still a work in progress. That's typical with any musical theater production. Things will be tweaked, things will be perfected, words will be taken out, words will be added. That's just the nature of musical theater in general and the translation specifically. We had a new round of changes just this past week at the beginning of rehearsals. So that what you heard in the cast video or in the cast presentation isn't necessarily going to be that what we present on stage at the premiere. And even after the premiere, there could be some small changes. People, keep in mind that a musical theater piece is not just the words, it's also the singing, it's also the acting, it's also the dance choreography, it's the lighting, it's the staging, it's the sound. All of these pieces come together to make a musical theater performance. Once you see how this all comes together, I think you will all be pleasantly surprised. And in fact, a lot of the people who have seen what we've presented online so far have changed their minds from being skeptics to being fans, or at least being curious, and that's what we want to achieve. We want people to have a good time, but we also want you to understand what's going on. So that's why this translation is so important. And I think once you see it on stage, you're gonna love what you see. We are the first foreign language production of this show ever. And that's a very special place to be in as a performer because Regardless of what happens in the show, we will be the first. If the show is successful, then it could be the jump off point for many other foreign language productions of Hamilton. If the show is a flop, then we will still be the first and maybe only foreign language production of the show. Now, another important thing to note is that there were already a few different foreign language versions of Hamilton in the works. Lin Miranda himself worked on a Spanish version I know that there was an Italian version, a French version, and of course, the German version. And from the information that I received, the American team simply loved the German version the most, which speaks very well for us because again, German is a fantastic language for hip hop and for musical theater in general, at least in my opinion. So again, I'm extremely honored to be a part of this first foreign language production of Hamilton. Well, that does it for today. If you want to learn more about the German version of Hamilton, make sure to tune in to my Hamil chat on Instagram Live every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Central European time. And if you're new to this channel, make sure that you click subscribe, hit the like button, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on the latest videos. Till then, talk to you guys later. Peace.